Today, we are playing as Pink in Rainbow Friends Chapter 2. We get to use all of his super cool overpowered controls and also get to explore some very secret things about Pink later on in this video. Now, there is one problem. We need to find Pink. And you're probably wondering, why am I in the Chapter 1 map of Rainbow Friends? Well, the reason is, is because if you go this way, and you drop down here, just around this corner, you can find Pink right over here. What's up, man? How you doing? You can find Pink right here, and boom, now we have the badge, and we can use the Pink more. Because it is more appropriate, I am switching to Chapter 2, and teleport to the Chapter 2 map. Now, I am so excited to use Pink as a morph. Oh my gosh, there's purple, and I just saw a large spider. I swear, I'm not, yep, all, all, anyways, we get to use the pink morph today, I haven't used it yet, there's a bunch of different controls with him, I've seen other people use it, it is super dope, so if we go back to the chapter 2 lobby, and we walk over by the extra characters, because, you know, pink is obviously not in the game, we can find the unused character, and this is pink, so, now that we have the badge, we can morph into pink. So as you can see, he has two different controls. And obviously there's gonna be a lot more as time goes on. But we get to try both of them today and see if maybe in the future they're accurate. That's a very tall person. And it's SpongeBob. Okay, we're going back to the chapter two map. Look at us, we are literally pink right now. We're walking around. I honestly like how he walks around. The legs are kind of weird, but it is cool. He's just like walking weirdly. I, I don't even know. I wonder if I could zip line with him. There's no way. I. <laughs> Whoa! That was insanely fast. I think that just glitched out. <laughs> we just crossed the entire map in literally milliseconds. So before we try out the different controls with pink, you guys know that I like to do a test with any of the morphs I use. The Ferris wheel test. Can he stand on it? Will it break? Will he fall out? I, I don't know. This one is definitely a weird monster. He's shaped weird, so I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, we're stepping on the Ferris wheel. Three, two, one. And we're on. Everything seems normal. He's moving a little weird. As you can see, I move forward and he moves backwards. See, that's what I was worried about. This morph is just shaped weird. I think that's the problem. But the Ferris wheel ride was successful. So now it is time to use the different controls. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use jump scare. I've turned my volume down just in case, uh, but be ready. This is about to be terrifying. Three, two. Why is there just a lucky? Three, two, one, jump scare. Oh. My, what was that? Wait, he just eats people SpongeBob. Come here. <laughs> Wait, I didn't realize this was going to be the jump scare. I want to eat the Lucky. I want to see what happens. Lucky, please get back here. He's way faster than me. I realize pink is very slow. Okay, I'm eating the... Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's pushing me. How is he doing this? I'm... I was just riding the Lucky. Hey, the technician is here. <laughs> I'm gonna eat the technician. We still have spit to use. We haven't used it yet. Okay, get off the ride. Yep, get off the ride. This is a weird jump scare, man. I, I don't know. So now it's time to use the spit control. Wow, that is... That's for sure something. I don't know if it's really that cool. I mean, if he was chasing you, it wouldn't be intimidating. Like, if he just does that to attack you, I, I wouldn't be scared. But if he just eats me, I'd be pretty terrified. So. <laughs> oh, he's dead. No, I didn't mean to do that. Now that I have accidentally eliminated the technician, it's time to move on to a different game where somebody made probably the scariest pink jump scare. If this gets added to the game, this would be insane. So this game is called Rainbow Friends Jump Scare. Upon entering this game, it looks very innocent. You know, it's just a house. It's just like a nice home and everything. And then as soon as you get in, it's literally like every single monster in all of Roblox. As you can see here, there is the Rainbow Friends. You know, we know what Blue's jump scare is. Yeah, it's, it's terrifying. But if you walk a little ways down, you can see that Pink is right here. Somebody made a jump scare that is so scary. I don't even know if it would be allowed in Rainbow Friends, but I'm just preparing you. It is terrifying. And I know if this got added to the game and I was playing, I would probably quit instantly if I got caught by Pink. Before we try out the jump scare from Pink, I do want to check out these other monsters though. We did try these in a different video, but we didn't actually get to see like the full on jump scare. Here's the uh, avocado seed we saw in one of the videos. But essentially, 
Somebody made jump scares for these monsters. And wow, it makes the avocado seed way scarier in this game. The one I really want to test out is this guy, this orange one. I'm really curious to see what this jump scare is going to be. So, oh, it's not working. It's not working. Oh! All right, my heart. It is beating very fast. It wasn't working. And then it randomly jump scared me. All right, but anyways, it is finally time to check out the pink jump scare. You guys have been waiting. Here we go. Subscribe in the next three seconds before we do this. Three, two, one. Here we go. What did I tell you? Like, that is terrifying. In the Rainbow Friends RP, it's like pretty scary. It's okay. But in here, that is terrifying. I don't think I'm playing this game anymore. I, I, yeah, I need to leave. I need to leave. Okay, I'm done. To learn a bit more about Pink, I wanted to watch some cutscenes that could possibly teach us some things. So an amazing YouTuber by the name Felton created this cutscene where Pink meets Green. It kind of introduces you to Pink and how Pink would act with players and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and react to this. All right. Here we are, divided with you. Blue and I have some issues to resolve. Pink, go get the kids this way. Uh-oh, are those players? I'm giving you a hint. They can hide in box. The task will be to... Wait, what? The task will be completed. Oh, that's what Pink said. Okay. All right, let's see what Pink does. Now we need to quickly deal with these children. Uh, to meet with Cyan and find out from him what happened. Fewer words... I, I don't I don't even know what just happened. I didn't read it. Okay, these are players. They look scared. Oh, I think they're meeting pink <laughs> Are they meeting pink? Okay, <laughs> They are what fools you are Now you have nowhere to run They all put boxes on Green where did they go? <laughs> In case you forgot I'm blind I forgot what red t That's insane. That interaction between green and pink is so funny. I feel like it would be real. In case you forgot, I'm blind. That's- that's an amazing line. Oh, this looky looks tasty. Yeah, that- that's insane. I- I don't even know what to think. Oh, there's a looky that is so sad and trapped down there. Anyways, I really want to hear you guys' theory on Pink. I need you guys to literally flood the comments with theories on this guy. I need to know more about his lore and what could possibly happen in Chapter 3. If you do comment your theory, you could be shouted out in a future video because I will be reading some of them soon. So yeah, drop your theories in the comments and subscribe!